In this video, I'm going to describe a SharePoint My Site. Now, a My Site is your own personal profile site within the SharePoint site, and it works in a similar fashion to um, how Facebook or other social networking utilities work. Um, it enables you to publish content yourself, to tag things, and also connect with colleagues within your organization. So, let's go and look at the uh, My Site first. So, I'm logged in as a system account, so I click on the uh, Username up here at the top and click on My Site. And that opens up my sorry, my site newsfeed, which shows um, updates from my colleagues. That's currently blank because the people have been have not been posting updates as this is a demo site. But what I'll do first is show you how to update your profile. So along the top here, you click on my profile, opens your profile page, and we've got several features we've got here. So the top we have our um, current sort of status if you like. So we can type in there what's happening. So I can write creating a demo. Now when I click away from that, that's saved. Now people who've added me as a colleague will see that I've updated my status on their, their newsfeed. So under where my uh, photo is here, I can click edit my profile and from here I can update the profile fields in my profile. So I can add a little biography about me um, I can upload a picture um, so that it's an actual picture of myself rather than this uh, standard picture. Um, the Ask Me About section, I can add things that people in the organization can ask me about. So my typical things I'd put in there would be SharePoint, consultancy, those sorts of things. Um, then underneath that we have our contact information. So here we have several fields of uh, contact information which we can update. And we can choose who we wish to share these with. So for example, your home phone number, you can choose to share that with your colleagues, everyone, your team only, your manager only, or only me, which means it won't be shared with anyone. So, for example, you may wish to only share your home phone number with your manager. If I scroll down a bit further, I have an opportunity to enter information on past projects I've worked on, to enter skills which I'm uh, in possession of, so perhaps public speaking, those sorts of things. Schools I've attended, so perhaps my university and uh, secondary school. You can put your birthday in there if you like as well. Then at the bottom here we can configure our newsfeed settings. So we can decide what we'd like to see appearing in our newsfeed. I mentioned earlier that um, when I updated my status, uh, people who've added me to their network would see that update in their newsfeed. Um, in my um, activities I'm following here, you see we've got that one checked status message. If I was to uncheck that, then I would no longer see people's status updates. So once you start using the site, you can determine what you think is useful and then have those ones selected. So down at the bottom, I can save and close or cancel and go back. So I'll click, I'll click save and close. Okay, so um, I'll take you to, through some of the other features of the, uh, the My Site here. So if I click on libraries, that shows the libraries that are part of my My Site. I click on the overview here. This shows me recent activities. Um, I can see where I sit in the organizational chart. Um, this section here in common with you. Um, this shows uh, other people in the organization that have common things with or uh, have um, parts of their profile that are in, in common with you. Um, the recent activities shows uh, what things you've recently done. So whether you've tagged a document or uh, made a change. Your note board is a bit like uh, you would consider maybe a Facebook wall. This is where people can leave messages for you and you can you can respond. So that's the overview. The organization tab here, and um, this shows the organizational browser. So this shows where you sit in the organization, who you report to and who reports to you. Now because I'm logged in as administrator and there's no one in the uh, reporting lines, but if I was to uh, find somebody else, so for example if I type in Dan, that will bring up a list of the people in the organization called Dan. If I click on Dan Jump there at the top, now I'm seeing his My Site profile. So we've got some of the elements from his profile. And if I click on Organization along here, I can see there that Dan Jump is at the top of the organizational tree. And these are his direct reports. If I click on one of those, for example, this chap, Jim Daly, we can see the other people that sit at his level that also report to Dan. Um, and if I click on one of these people, perhaps Tony, Sanjay, we'll see if one of them has a team. Frank, there we go. So, um, Adam Barr, he has a team of people reporting to him. So if I click on perhaps Christine, we can now see um, Christine reports to Adam, who reports to Dan. The other people at Christine's level who also report to Adam. 
and then underneath Christine, the people um, in her team who report to her. So that's um, an example of how the, uh, the organizational browser works. So if I move back to my site and go to my profile again, you see we have a tab here called content. Under this tab, it says uh, Contoso Administrator is not sharing any documents at this time. Um, under this tab, you have the option to um, upload documents. There are two libraries, typically a shared documents library and a private documents library. So the shared documents library is where you can upload uh, documents to share with your, your colleagues. The personal documents library is where you upload documents just, just for yourself, for your own personal storage. The tags and notes tab here um, is um, shows the areas around the site which you've tagged and written notes about. So for example, if I go to the Contoso homepage here and I open this uh, document library, shared documents, I can tag one of these documents if I like by checking on that box and clicking, I like it. So now I've tagged that as I like it. And if I click on tags and notes, I can also add um, further information. So I can add, this is great. And these are my own personal tags separated with a, a semicolon. They're not uh, dictated by the system. And also on the note board, I can write something here, um, some additional text. So a so I'll write, this is a fantastic document, and then click post. So now I've tagged that document and written a note. If I go back to my my site yeah, and click on my profile and click on tags and notes. I can see under there that I've tagged that document in this list and colleagues who are also following me will be able to uh, see that I've tagged that document. Um, I can also delete these tags if I like or check on this box here to make it private so that only I can see them. The colleagues uh, tab here are people who I've added to my network. So I can add one here, um, perhaps I can add Dan. So I'll type in here. Dan Jump, just check that he's available, and now click OK. So I've now added uh, Dan to my network. There we go. And now um, when he makes uh, changes and updates the status, those will appear in my, my news feed. Um, you'd add colleagues to your network who you typically work with, perhaps on a project or, or someone that would be useful for you to be in touch with. The uh, memberships tag here on the end is the sites you're a member of. So if you're a member of a, a team site or a project site, that will appear here so you can keep track of those. So that's a quick um, over tour of um, my sites and how to use tags and notes.